Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Balloons Battle 2. All I've done is the tutorial, and I never played the original Balloons Battle, but I intend to have a 100% win record. And I bought the Wizard Monkey just because it's probably my favorite one of them all. So <laughs> let's see how good I can actually do. <laughs> This looks like the perfect map for me to put a bunch of tax shooters right here. Actually, I'll place one right there and a smack another one right there. Yeah, you know what? That works. Just gonna wait patiently and you can go dead center. This might actually not be the best tactic I could have gone for, but it works. What is he doing? He has way more upgrades than I do. Oh no, I wasn't aware I was facing a pro BTD battle player. Maybe I should start sending balloons at him. I think the little green up arrows is like, it increases how much money I get per round. So it's probably just good to have a bunch of these on standby. Let me also go ahead and place a cannon right here, because then I can get frag bombs, which will also help disperse a bunch of balloons. Now time to start working on my middle defense. It looks like balloons will congregate here, here, and already right there at that cross. So I feel like just mass spamming tag shooters, probably the way to go. And I think he's thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> Little does he know, I have a wizard monkey, which will cover both of these crosses. Perfect. We'll give him fireball, because I want wall of fire. And then I'll just continue to work on upgrading my tax shooters. Also, I need to give you faster reload and missile launcher. And you need to start targeting the strong balloons. Thank you. Oh no, I don't have anything that hits camo. What was I thinking? Give you monkey sense. That's fine. He got first blood, but it's okay. I've already corrected that issue. I just need to get another one of these guys down here. I know you fit. I know you fit. Thank you. Give you this, and we'll go the top route. Thank you. It's time for me to start getting my money up, which just means it's time for me to start spamming balloons over his way. I don't know, how about some ceramics? How does he fend off against those? They kind of get past. I feel like I'm going to have to make a play with a DDT. What happens if we get to round 40 and nobody's won? We just call it good, we go home, maybe <laughs> maybe stop and get some drinks along the way? I think I've got all my tag shooters in optimal places. Now it's time for me to start placing my wizard monkey in optimal places, because that is a lot of ceramics. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is such an assault by him. Am I going to be able to stop this? Hello? Can I? No, I'm just, oh, I'm leaking so much. The lack of camo detection is also coming back to bite me. Oh, and he said, oh, he saved up 1.2k. Uh-oh, this could be bad. This could end up being very bad if I can't. Oh, never mind, I stopped him. All right, I'm perfect. Let me send one of those and see how he fares. Oh, he's, he's faring much better than I did. Ah, actually, I think we got to about the same spot. Oh, but it looks like whoever gets 2.5k first might be the victor. I don't know what his eco's looking like, but I know what mine's looking like, and I am fearing for my life. I still need another thousand dollars, but it's gonna take me three clicks. Oh no. Yep, there his is. Wait a second, he's kind of struggling with camel balloons. Can I send those anywhere? Oh my gosh, am I gonna be able to beat this? Three Moabs remaining? Hang on, wait a second. I did beat this, right? Did I stop them? Or am I dead to this? Am I- I'm on one- No! I think he beat me by literally one balloon. Man, don't look so angry at me. It's your fault. Be a better hero. That's fine. If I'm losing, it just means I need to throw a little money at the game. I don't know how these are gonna help, but I trust they will. Wait a second, I'm fairly certain it means I can just buy towers. Yeah, give me this and then give me a buccaneer and I guess the dartling gunner could also be useful. Oh, what am I thinking? I should have bought Obin. That's fine, I'll just make the money back I need to get him. Well, I see a little pond on this map, so I'm immediately putting on my buccaneer. First things first, immediately going to place Quincy in this zone that looks like it was built for him. Oh no, he has a monkey sub. That's fine, my monkey buccaneer covers like this entire map. Oh my gosh. Give him grape shot and faster shoot and it looks like I'm very unfortunately not killing all these balloons as fast as I'd like to be. That's fine. We'll just throw on hot shots and start upgrading my other buccaneer. Yeah, I'm just continuously swarming him with balloons, alternating between pinks and yellow. Oh, yes, he just had a tower boost. That's always a good sign for me, I think. Looks like he might be trying to go on a little bit of a counterattack with the white balloons here. That's fine. I have a third buccaneer coming down now. And you know what? Might as well just place the other three buccaneers down that are going to fit in this tiny pond. For you, will actually go long range and then crow's nest. This way I can just protect myself against a little bit of camo balloons that are coming out. And also, it looks neat. Hey, quit sending purple balloons at me. I can also do that, you jerk. See, round 12 and my eco's almost at 500 per. Oh, he just doesn't have any camo detection, huh? That'll be handy to know. All right, for now, just gonna try and spam him with balloons because round 18 is whenever the Moab becomes available. Hey, okay, now, no need to just increase stuff. We're all good here. Everything's fine, I think, right? Hopefully. Yes, 
He's using a lot of his tower boost already. Like, I'm not going to throw a bunch of Moabs at him here in the next two rounds. Speaking of which, let me go ahead and place down a cannon with frag bombs here at the start. Oh my gosh, I need a tower boost. Did I just lose? No! Why do I feel like there's some tactic here that I just wasn't told about? Oh, this is a very water-heavy map. I am choosing to skip it. Back to Mayan we go. I feel as if that tactic did really good last time, but let me put on the monkey sub for this one. I'm curious to see if the extra range will actually help me out here. And we instantly place Quincy down. Good on him for placing one tack shooter exactly where I'm about to. I feel like he really knows his stuff. This is a fun parallel because he just happens to be using monkey buccaneers. <laughs> Well, let's go longer ranged and then advanced intel, because now this sub will start shooting at the beginning. And then I'll go ahead and just buy the longer ranged upgrade for all of these guys. And now I know that I need $500 and I can upgrade my sub. Let's send him some pink balloons out of the kindness of my heart too. Just as a present. One more coin click and perfect. He, f he finally just placed his hero. Oh my gosh. I'm a bit curious on what this man is constructing over there. But also just to be safe, I'm placing my tax shooters. That way my submarines have full map coverage. And I am so extremely glad that he didn't continue to send balloons because he probably would have killed me. I was getting extremely close, but that's fine. There we go, twin guns. Oh yeah, I forget that I have Quincy abilities that I can use too, huh? Maybe these are things that I should remember more often. Why do you just tell me good luck? What was that about? Let me go ahead and spam the energy balloons because they just have the best eco right now at four and he is building something. Gone ahead and upgraded my tech shoes. Why is he doing this? Why is this why he said good luck? Because he was waiting for the ceramic pool? This heat tip darts. I'm doing fine. Was that, was that his big play? Was that his big gotcha. That was the most pathetic gotcha I've ever seen. Going to frag bombs there. Come keep on. using my abilities. Now I need to start getting into air burst darts. And I'm going to be able to get one here the moment my coins drop next time. Thank you. There we go. So that should take care of a lot of the stragglers. And again, let's just send him some ceramics as a gift from me. Oh, he sent me one too. How kind. Looks like mine are doing uh, more damage though, man. It's going to balloon boost them just to give him a quick little scare because they're not actually making it there, but it's fine. My eco is now over 500 per, which means every two clicks, I can make an air burst start, but I only need one more anyways. Game, if you would be so kind, thank you. Now I need to focus on upgrading my other towers. It is round 17, so I'm beginning to think he's probably gonna wanna go ahead and throw a Moab at me, which is fine, who wouldn't? I just need to be mindful and make sure I can throw one directly back at him when the moment's right. And I think I timed it properly enough where it's going to happen and go. Send out the Moab and a bunch of just little lead balloons. Should be a fun little scare, hopefully. Oh, are they actually getting past somewhat? Am I? Ooh, Ooh, there's first blood. Thank you. I think he's setting up to throw some right back at me though, because he has not sent me a balloon in a bit. Or he's saving up for the red Moab. It's one of the two. It's fine. I'll just throw another one at him. You know what? I'll throw two at him. We'll see. Oh, well, he can deal with two Moabs effectively enough. Good on him. Good for being able to do that. He has a bunch of missile shooting cannons, which is why. That's fine. That's what I'm about to start working on too, man. Well, he just has no camo protection, huh? He just did not think to put any single camo detection utility on. Oh, man. I bet he wants to send a ZOMG at me. Oh, I bet he plans to end this with one massive bomb. This is fine. I have a great idea. It's called wait patiently for all these balloons and then send one red guy. And let's go ahead and just do this because I see those purple camos and I think that is the victory. Yeah. Camo detection really just ruins everyone, huh? Thank you, Quincy, for having it automatically. This map looks awful. I love it. It doesn't really look like my tag shooters are going to be much use here, so I'm going to place my banana farm in and then hope this works need to go ahead and put quincy down this right there works wait a second i thought these things did a full loop i didn't realize that the end was right down there uh oh wow i just lost so much health immediately this can't be good <laughs> i'm just gonna balloon boost these and then send them because it looks like it's working somewhat i made him bleed nine and i'm making him bleed a lot more he had to be setting up for something oh my gosh can i just keep doing these wait this is working he's starting to die oh my gosh what all does he have where you just can't combat this. I don't know, but I love it. Can I balloon boost again? Might as well, just for safekeeping. Is he dead? Is he dead? He's so close to death. Oh, he finally tower boosted. He finally figured out a plan. I think it's also extremely impressive that somehow during all of this, he remembered to keep sending balloons at me too. But he's at 22. Yes, the game's natural balloon progression is also helping me out. It's fine. We're just, we're both tower boosting. Oh my, this is such an intense final little rush. Throwing grape shots on another balloon just to be safe. Round six and my eco's already at 400. I have spent the primary amount of my money 
building balloons. I need to get double shot on stuff real quick though, because that is getting close. Bad news is, I don't have any more balloon boosting stuff going. Oh, he's also got Alchemist? Oh my gosh, why am I playing against level 500s? I, <laughs> I just started playing this game. I'm going against people with boost tactics. Actually, wait, these black balloons are kind of working out. Yes! Oh, I somehow managed to win! <laughs> that was the most underwhelming victory in the history of BTD battles, but it works. And it looks like I can unlock this thing, sure. I mean, yeah, if I, if I got the stuff, might as well. Oh, I unlocked a Buccaneer Tower upgrade. In that case, give me the Destroyer. But you know what? I have $1,700. Just unlock it all. I need to have as much versatility on my team as possible. Yes, even you, RCE. Come on. And with the Ice Monkey, all my monkeys are ready. Except for these two heroes, because they're expensive. 